Hi there, I'm Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition. And in this video, I wanna take a look at the bob and weave in boxing. Now there are a ton of videos out there on the boxing bob and weave, but I haven't really seen any that properly explain this to beginners. And so let's see if we can try and do that. A bob is the motion of going up and down, while the weave is pretty much a motion that's gonna see you going from side to side. And the term weave is how fabric is interlaced at right angles. And I'm sure that you've seen a weave before, if you've ever taken a look at certain clothing or how one of those old school picnic baskets is made. And for the purposes of this bob and weave video, I just want you to note that my head is changing directions in both the vertical, up and down, and the horizontal side to side planes. Now before we get to the how, I always find the most important question is the why. So why would anybody want to do this? I'm going to use my friend here who is new to boxing to help me properly explain this. And he's going to be perfect for this video because he's over 6'3 and I'm only 5'11 and a half. When he aims his punches towards my head, there's going to be a certain zone that I'm going to label the kill zone for this particular video. And it's within that kill zone that the punches are going to have the most leverage and thus the most power. And so basically any punch that's thrown towards my face and that lands on me within that kill zone is going to have enough leverage to really hurt. Now what I'm looking to do with my bob and weave is to maintain a proper boxing posture so that I can still block punches and punch back if I need to. But I also want to move my head from side to side and weave around that kill zone and take away the leverage of any of those punches that were intended for my face. Punches may still land on me while I'm moving, but as long as I stay directly out of that kill zone, they're gonna lack the leverage to do any severe damage. I'm also gonna keep my hands and my shoulders up nice and high, just in case he threw a punch below the kill zone that was intended for my body. All right, so a few things to make note of here. You wanna bob and weave using your legs and not your lower back like this. And you also really don't want to be pulling back like this during your bob and weave either. Why, you ask? Well, if you're solely using your lower back to bob and weave, you're going to have very little to no power for any of your counter shots. And most likely, you're going to be way off balance. So use your legs to perform the bob and weave. And that way, you're going to have much better balance and you're going to be much better positioned to strike if necessary. Also, your head should never go more forward than your feet, and this will be much easier to do if you're bending at the legs and not the lower back. If you do start weaving with your head past your feet, then you might just accidentally knock yourself out by crashing your head right into your opponent's knees. So long story short, keep your shoulders and your hands up high. Bend at the knees and use your legs and not your lower back. And don't be weaving with your head more forward than your toes. All right, next up, remember that you need to bob and weave your way outside of that kill zone. If you're not using your legs, have your hands down, and are moving your head within that kill zone, well, then be prepared to get hurt. Making your head a moving target is a great idea, but you need to make sure that you weave out of that zone. Because if your head stays in that target area of the box, your opponent can and will most likely hit you hard. So just keep in mind that your main goal here should be to move your head in such a manner that it stays most often out of that kill zone. Okay, so I know a few of you may be asking, why not just bob up and down? You could just simply bob up and down to avoid punches, but you were then kind of a jack-in-the-box that's just waiting to get clobbered because eventually you're going to be coming right back up into the center of that kill zone where your opponent is going to be ready, willing, and able to punch you right in the face. And now comes the beauty of the bob and weave because believe it or not, you're able to move. Now I know that you're saying, hmm, yeah, you've already told us that you can move your head out of the kill zone, but I'm not just talking about moving your head. You can use the momentum created by the bob and weave to also move your feet. As your body weight weaves towards your lead leg, very little weight will be on your rear foot, so you can easily move it forward a step. Then the weave will have your body weight returning to that rear leg, where you can then push off of the floor and propel your lead leg forward as the weight of your weave returns to that lead leg. I know that sounds complicated, but thank God a picture's worth a thousand words. So you can take a look right here and see what I mean. I'm using the momentum of the bob and weave to propel myself forward a step at a time. So you see, with the bob, you're pretty much a stationary target, as your body weight is simply 
simply going up and down. But with the weave, your body weight is being shifted from leg to leg, and you can now use that momentum to move yourself forward as you bob and weave. Now, this can be a huge asset when fighting taller fighters. Taller fighters usually have a longer reach, and that is an advantage. But I can use my bob and weave to get under their punches, avoid their kill zone, and then get within range where my shorter arms can actually do some damage. Also, the bob and weave can turn defense right into offense. The reason for that is because as you weave, you're transferring your body weight from foot to foot, and you're able to build momentum. You can then use that momentum to throw hard strikes once you bypass your opponent's punches and get within range. So sure, my opponent thinks that he has me, but nope. I use my bob and weave to get out of the range of his punches, and then I use that momentum to land a hard offensive blow. So now that you know why, let's take a look at some simple drills on how to bob and weave. There are a ton of experts out there that may have completely different techniques, but for beginners, I think this will be an easy way to grasp it. So you want to be standing in your proper boxing stance. And if you're not sure how to do that, I'll put a link in the description below. Then you want to bend your legs and bring your rear elbow to your rear knee. Then you will weave your momentum to your lead leg, and you're going to have your lead elbow touch your lead knee. And then you're going to come up on that 45 degree angle. You're going to rinse and repeat this over and over, and you're going to notice that your head will be making a V motion around that kill zone. And don't worry, it becomes a lot easier once you build momentum. Here are some drills that you can practice with a partner. Have him slowly, and let me emphasize slowly, throw hooks towards your head as you bob and weave underneath them. After you have that down, you could add in a counter shot or two. But please remember guys that this is a drill and you guys are partners. You should not be throwing real punches at each other's faces. The whole point of this drill is to get both your body and your brain into a bob and weave scenario and not to have you get injured. And once you've mastered bobbing and weaving in place, then you can try throwing some forward movement into the mix. Now one last tip about the range of the bob and weave. The bob and weave must be done in close quarters or else you're just wasting energy. If it's done from a distance, your opponent's just gonna sit there and watch you move around and waste energy for nothing. Or even worse, from a distance, he's just gonna wait for you to tire. And once you pop up, he's gonna pounce and pop you. So just be mindful. This has been Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition. And if you like these videos, then please click below to like and subscribe as we're always posting up great tips and new ideas to make sure that you get into the absolute greatest shape possible.